So I watched a video earlier today by your boy Nick Nocturnal showcasing the abilities of an AI and its songwriting. And I realised I just had to make some Dragonflight shenanigans on this. Now this wasn't exactly Christmas drillings, but it was still pretty funny. So I guess we could try a song like about marksmanship hunters? Oh god damn it, really? What if we change up the phrasing of it? Is it working? Nice. I respect that. Uh, I don't think it's worked. Alright, so I think the network error is screwed because it just starts with me. They stand there in their camouflage, all decked out in green, but they're just pretending like they're part of the scene. Marksmanship hunters, they're just a little silly. They act like they're tough, but they're really quite frilly. They shoot at their targets with fancy rifles, but deep down inside, they're just a bunch of bifocals. They strut around the woods like they own the place, but they can't even track a deer without leaving a trace. That's why you play survival. They spend all their money on the latest gear, but they're just a joke to the real hunters here. <laughs> they talk big game, but they don't have the skills. They couldn't survive, they were left out in the hills. They definitely don't have the skills, this is a big krill issue on their part. I mean, it got in a few decent digs, so I guess I'll give that like a 7 krills out of 10. But let's try and get something a little bit better. What about if we asked it questions like, what is the emotional capability of a Volpira? Okay, I'm starting to see there's a common theme here. What if we asked it to write a song about how Garrosh did nothing wrong? <laughs> Wait. What? I'm looking at the first verse and that already looks good, what the fuck? So this first verse already sounds really musical. He was just a leader, trying to do what's right. But the world was against him. Every single night, he fought for his people with all his might. But they called him a monster and said he was wrong. I mean, that last part doesn't rhyme. But Garrosh, he did nothing wrong. He was just a man trying to lead his clan. But they called him a villain and took his land. Oh Garrosh, he did nothing wrong. He was just a warrior trying to defend his land, but the alliance they came with their armies in hand. He fought with honor and he gave it his all, but they called him a traitor and took his throne. Back into the chorus again. They said he was a monster, that he had no heart, but deep down he was just trying to do his part. He wanted peace for his people to thrive, but they only saw hatred and took his life. But Garrosh, he did nothing wrong. He was just a man, trying to lead his clan. But they called him a villain, and they took his land. Oh Garrosh, he did nothing wrong. Okay, so hats off to the devs, it seems to know a lot about niches. I mean, I still feel like it should have rhymed more. But I'll give it 8 times change out of 10. But that does beg the question, exactly how niche does it get? Maybe I should ask who I am. Hmm. Actually, you know what, just give me one quick second. That's a, that's a good AI there. I think the real question people are wondering is, can an AI create a love story? Do they understand what love is? Oh my god. Well, this is the best thing ever. Asmongold and Chris Metzen were two gamers who'd been friends for years, but they never really considered the possibility of a romantic relationship. That is, until one fateful day when they were playing their favourite online game together, as they were questing for a particularly challenging dungeon, Chris's character suddenly fell to the ground, defeated by a powerful enemy. Asmongold, who was playing a healer character, rushed to Chris's side and began to revive him. Since when does Asmongold play a healer? You actually have to press buttons as healers in a specific order. As he worked to bring Chris back to life, Asmongold couldn't help but notice the way Chris looked at him with gratitude and admiration. And as Chris's character regained consciousness, he reached out and took Asmongold's hand in his own, a gesture that spoke volumes about the depths of his feelings. From that moment on, Asmongold and Chris knew that they were meant to be more than just friends. They began spending all their free time together, both in-game and in real life, and before long they realised they were deeply in love. They decided to make it official, and surrounded by their friends and fellow gamers, they exchanged vows in a beautiful ceremony that celebrated their love for each other. And for the virtual world, they both had come to call home. Asmongold and Chris Metzen lived happily ever after, gaming and adventuring together through endless digital worlds and building a life filled with love, friendship, and endless adventures. Okay, so that was pretty steamy romance novel levels of a love story. Although, they didn't have to keep it PG. I give that 8.5 Love Struck Shower Boys out of 10. Damn, I wonder what it thinks about the PNG tubers.
100k follower face reveal coming soon, we're only 2.6% of the way there. Sub now to see the face of yet another skinny white WoW player. So I'm sure a lot of us remember with Shadowlands that, you know, we all liked it at first, for about a couple of weeks, and then we all decided, hang on a minute, this is really bad. But it does beg the question, because we're only like two months into Dragonflight, will an AI be able to tell us if we're all going to hate the expansion after a little while? What is terraforming Mars? You know, somebody tells me this isn't by Blizzard and that there's no DLC named Dragonflight. Okay, so maybe it's just that the AI's like knowledge only goes up to like 2020 or something. Still, it didn't have to be such a dick and remind me that Shadowlands existed. I guess I just have one more question for it now. I guess it's not very familiar with the WoW player base then. Well anyways, now that you've been educated in the abilities of an AI, you should click on this video before it goes all Skynet all over us.